This video is rated PG for pointlessly gaming. Okay. Ratio check sample. <laughs> Get fucking ratioed. God damn it. <laughs> hey everybody, <laughs> welcome back to Twilight Princess. Uh, last time we left off, we're following a ghost. We're fucking... What's it called? The two guys looking for ghosts? Two guys and a ghost. No, it's like the BuzzFeed thing. Two men and a baby. Two men and a ghost baby. Two and a half Supernatural. I never watched Supernatural. Was that good? I know people like... It was a Tumblr thing for a long time. People like were crazy about the dudes from Supernatural. I liked it, it to start. Until, like season six or something and then it should have ended. <laughs> it got very convoluted and they definitely ran it into the ground. Yeah. I liked it to start and then it just became not what I liked about the show. Like it's like six seasons too many. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> I the only thing I know about Supernatural is that there was an anime. Uh what? There's a supernatural there, anime. There was? Yeah. You mean like a, an episode or nope, nope. Cause there's an episode where they meet the Scooby Doo gang. Nope. There was yeah, there's a supernatural I have to anime. That. Yeah. I have not seen that. Is it is it Tresse, the Portuguese show? I no, like it is called Supernatural oh, the shit, Anime. Oh shit, yeah, Supernatural the Anime series. Yep. That's insane. They also made a Blade Runner anime. I haven't I don't know how good that is. That I understand Crunchyroll more cuz like it's screaming at me. Isn't Blade Runner oh, like Oh yeah, cuz uh... Cyberpunk Well, yeah, not only Blade Runner, but like Blade Runner like revolutionized Cyberpunk and inspired like Ghost in the Shell and shit. So it makes sense that it would eventually become an anime. Like the Matrix did. Oh, uh, okay. But yeah, I, I would have never known there was a supernatural anime. Is it made in Japan? I don't know. The only thing I know about it is because um, the only thing I know about it and like the reason I know about it is because when I was younger I was super into abridged series on youtube and <laughs> someone made a supernatural the animation the abridged sorry and... used to be i'm yeah, well i mean like and abridged who's, series aren't really a thing the, anymore who still doesn't shut the fuck up about team four star okay but like abridged series aren't really a thing anymore yeah oh okay so it's made by madhouse oh okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i like them remind me what they do though <laughs> uh <laughs> hold on <laughs> wait do i have water bombs Welcome to Googling the episode. Uh, Fuck. I'm gonna just Google everything. Okay. Madhouse. Uh, they made... I'm trying to see from this list what you would recognize. Probably more than me. Um, Why is Link's they made hat? Kirby right back at ya. <gasps> oh, nice! <laughs> Kirby, Kirby, Kirby! He's the star of the show! Oh, they made Death Note. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, That's definitely why I... Remember the name then. Uh, He's got more than you think. He's got maximum pink. He's coming right back at you for sure. <laughs> I loved Kirby right back at you. Okay. Oh yes. Did they do first season or second? Uh, I think they did first season and then switched to Studio Bones. Yeah. Yeah. Studio that's Bones first season. was yeah. Because I know people were mad when it wasn't Madhouse. Yeah. I remember that. I remember that whole controversy. <laughs> I loved Kirby Right Back At You, but I couldn't watch it because Fox Kids wasn't, like, reliably viewable in Canada. I could never find what channel it was on. I have never even heard of it. What, Fox Kids or Kirby Right Back At You? Fox Kids. Uh, it was, like, the only way to watch a bunch of anime at the time. Oh. Oh, right. I remember there was a show I really liked. I don't remember the name of it, but it was only available in Australia. So I either had to break the law and watch it, like, streaming online, or I just had to watch, like, shitty little rips from YouTube of people, like... Yeah, that was, like, the worst part before streaming services is when you'd have to watch shows in parts on YouTube. <gasps> on YouTube, yeah, that's <laughs> Oh, my God, that's what I had what to do. Show? 
I don't remember the name of it. It was like some silly little cartoon that was only available in Australia. Okay. That's what I had to do for um, Steven Universe when it was coming oh, out. Oh, yeah? Because I, I don't have Cartoon Network, so when it came out, I would have to either wait for someone to upload it on like a streaming website, or I would look on YouTube and someone would upload the the episode in like 30 second parts yeah because what did cartoon network shows play on was that teletoon for us i uh, i don't even yes. yeah maybe and nickelodeon so. was ytv no, yeah nickelodeon was ytv and then um disney was the family channel and disney was family channel yeah welcome to canadian programming <laughs> God, what? I used to watch Disney channel shows in parts on YouTube. They'd be like five to ten minute long videos. And I oh just, my god. I loved Hannah Montana so much, but it was never on when I was like, <laughs> When you wanted TV, to watch so it? I, oh, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't imagine watching Hannah Montana in parts on YouTube. <laughs> that was my life for a little while. I was a cool kid. What can I say? Oh god. <laughs> Did you ever watch like Hannah Montana, uh, Billy Talent, Red Flag, HMVs? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I did watch Club Penguin music videos, though. I used to watch, like, Naruto AMVs and shit, because that was a fucking... I, was I a used cool to kid. watch a series on YouTube. Uh, it was, like, somebody made it. It was, like, Pokemon High School or something. And I, sh I tried to show Lee of it, but we couldn't find the original one anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> The one that I remembered, it with, the one that was close to my heart, I was invested in the story. It's just like people would take pictures of, like, from the Pokemon anime and then, like, put their captions over it to, like, tell <laughs> a story. And it was, oh, like, God. fucking intense for little 10-year-old me. <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. I love that. <laughs> I'm just glad you didn't say you watched Minecraft High School. <laughs> oh, God, no. Apparently that's a thing. I haven't seen oh, it. I don't know what it's about. And it's about the mobs? It's about the Minecraft mobs? Is it? I don't know. I haven't seen it. I watched I've it. just heard I've just heard Minecraft High School and thought, "Oh, great." I think I watched something like that. <laughs> okay. So, I think all we got to do always here. Yeah, we just never had any way of like really going to the bottom and staying on the bottom. And then when did we get the iron boots? Uh, in the Goron Mine. I just never went to the bottom. I guess this was always here. I don't even remember looking down and seeing it. Yeah, well, I never, like, looked down. I have to say, in preparation for today's episode, because this is my first Twilight Princess episode since, like, the beginning. Yeah. Hi, welcome back. Um, I love you. <laughs> Thank you. I, I love you, too. <laughs> um, I watched all of your guys' Twilight Princess. Oh my god! Uh, yeah. At work today in preparation. Yeah. Um, one We're of my so favorite funny, series. Right? You, you guys did a good job. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm very excited for the the bit that's about to come out. This will have been what two weeks ago or last week. This will have been last week for everyone. Uh, just the way last week's episode fucking started. Yeah. <laughs> Was a fucking wild ride and i can't wait to get your reaction to it live you and i are gonna watch it together Gam. okay fuck you yeah. more water bombs shit then so, you only needed to buy five because you have more than you can carry now yeah i'm i'm okay with that though a, a lot of the a lot of the uh chests in this dungeon will be to refill you on water bombs which yeah. is nice but it, it's weird because i thought barnes created them so why are they here <laughs> but bad well, game. you know it's a bad game liam yeah that's fair um, i feel like that's always been my problem in zelda games is i over prepare like yeah. breath of the wild and its unlimited inventory is nice because i i tend to over prepare for things well not that it's very uh, uh, evident in my playthrough right now with breath of the wild but <laughs> um <laughs> i would always find myself carrying way too much yeah in older zelda games Oh, do yeah, I not right. even have to shoot these down? Will they just fall? What, you stand close to them? Yeah, because Minda was like... Fall. Yeah, Minda was like, that's treacherous, and it makes me think that if I just stand and look at them... Nope, I have to shoot them, because they are not... No, okay, yeah, I remember wrong then. 
Oh, have you played this? I have a, I played this back when it first came out. I haven't played played it since. Okay. Played it on the Wii. Is that what it came out on? Uh, that's what I'm. It came out it on, on GameCube. GameCube. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what am I, what oh. one came out on Wii? What one am I thinking of? Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword is the only one that erased. Uh, erased? Released originally on. Wii. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm really glad nobody made fun of me for a reast. <laughs> you do that all the time. I tend, I tend to not make fun of people for like slips of the tongue like that, even though they can be funny because I do it all the time. And I don't like it when my conversation gets interrupted because someone has to make fun of me because I mispronounced a word. Yeah. Like, yeah. I usually, <laughs> I, I often combine two words together accidentally. Yeah. I do that too. By saying, my brain oh, no. just gets ahead of itself. Yeah. By saying Arist, it just made me think of like the the we would like to play guys. <laughs> For some reason. I loved those commercials. Oh my god, they were so that, that those videos made me want to own a smart car. Yes. Because they drove around in oh smart god. cars with a little bullet bill on the side, and I was like, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen in my fucking life. I was like, I was like, yeah, I was like, if I ever operate a vehicle, it has to be tiny like that. I just liked the compact size. Wee. But nowadays, it's like, wow, that's kind of the shittiest car. <gasps> no, I still having like, like no, cars. yeah, but like having no storage space at all and only being able to take two people. Like the reason trailer, people, bitch. yeah, but like the reason people like you as a person if you have a car <gasps> is because you can give them rides. And it's like, oh yeah, I'll be the designated driver for one person only. So if I like you, and you get a car. <laughs> I'm not allowed to like you anymore if you can't give me rides in it? Yeah. Okay. That's the rules. Them's the brakes. Them's the brakes. I don't make the rules. Yeah. I just enforce them. A cab. Oh my god. Uh, so this is the lake bed temple and I fucking hate it. Yep. I have never played past this part because I saw the rotating staircase and I was like, I don't want to do that. And I turned the game off and I never picked it up again. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh... Um, I remember this one I was stuck on for a really long time. Pretty much for the same reason, Nick, you just said. I just didn't want to do it, so I took my sweet time. This just didn't look like a fun enough puzzle to keep me engaged in this game. The characters weren't doing it for me other than their designs. Yeah. Uh, I, I just, I, just I gave up I on like, this what? game. I really did. I played this game when I was like, what, seven? Because this game came out in 2005. Oh my god. 2005, right? Yeah, e I think so. E yeah. 2007. Okay. Oh. That's that's I just that's just crazy to think I... that you were that young when it came out. I don't remember how old I was, but my fucking this is my tomorrow. OG Zelda. Your birthday's oh gosh, tomorrow. Your birthday's tomorrow. Yeah. I didn't I didn't even remember. My mom came and told me, and I was like. Uh, I, I was like, what are we doing for dinner tomorrow? And she's like, steaks for your birthday. I was like, Aww. is tomorrow the 11th? <laughs> is steak your favorite food? Steak is my favorite food. Oh, oh that's, that's exciting. Cute. I love oh, steak. I'm going to have steaks for your birthday. Aww. You guys should both have steaks and think of me. Okay, I will. Um, order. I you, can cut, this... you can cut oh, this product placement out. You, you order from Ch <laughs> They suck, but it's the only place I know to get a steak and order. But don't give them a product placement because <laughs> sucks. <laughs> that restaurant came out of nowhere. Cause I remember I have this thing where like every time I come back home, there's something different about this town. And <laughs> was one of the things that I was like, what the fuck is this? Where did it come from? And I also feel like the restaurant beside Angel's Diner is different every time I come back yes. home. Yes. Yep, it is. <laughs> and also it <laughs> come out of nowhere because fucking like i had never heard of it until it was in our town you'll cut out the first time i said the name of the town uh and then now it's everywhere all over canada literally is every it? town i drive in is like hey we're, we're opening a soon it's like why oh i'm trying to think because it was that and then i don't know Anyway, we're going to start a podcast where we talk about oddly specific locations <laughs> in our town, just like people do in L.A. They'll be like, you know that one fucking parking lot on Red Boulevard? And I'm just like, yeah, I know it. I'm from L.A. I'm hip. Like, Lost my hand job virginity there. <laughs> they're just like, oh, this parking lot on like Sunset Boulevard is hipster Mad Max. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I totally get what that means. <laughs> yeah, I'm drinking Starbucks. I I know everything there is to know about L.A. 
Don't you hate when you're walking in front of the Nickelode Nickelodeon studio and some fucking homeless man comes up and knocks your Starbucks out of your hands? <laughs> Happens to me every week. To be fair, I shouldn't have shat on his cardboard box. <laughs> oh, speaking of big cities... Um, Nick, I don't know how often you go to, uh, Toronto, but I was just thinking today, what is the most wild thing you've seen in, like, a big city like Toronto? Uh, yeah, I don't go to Toronto very often. I like big cities, but because I've never lived in one, <laughs> I, I'm fully aware of that. Like, when I, yeah. every time I go to Toronto, I am amazed. And I love looking up at these gargantuan statues standing above me these towers to heaven and it, i i find i'm the only one looking up because <laughs> nobody is amazed by skyscrapers except for me i can't oh, look i can't uh, i can't look up at skyscrapers they give me vertigo yeah me too i was just about to say like they make me feel so sick when i look up at them oh they but make, they make me time. feel small they make me feel insignificant and like i'm going to die but i kind of love that anyways <laughs> it's the rush of adrenaline you need yeah kind of to keep me going. <laughs> oh, it's the only thing that keeps me going is looking up at skyscrapers. I was gonna say the weirdest thing I've ever seen in Toronto is we were on the way to like a winter Comic Con. Um, in hindsight, I should not have gone because the next day I was diagnosed with strep throat. Oh shit! But... <laughs> yeah, convention centers are just bad. Don't go to a convention center if you don't want to get sick. Yeah. Uh, well, I was already feeling like really sick going into it, but I was like, it's fine. Like I just get sore throats because <gasps> of the dry weather. So, and I wore a mask like it was it, it wasn't like hip to wear a mask but then because of like COVID I say hip but you know what I mean like people it wasn't people mandatory the word you're looking for is mandatory mandatory thank you <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't hip or cool to wear a mask um but I, I mean wore it still one. isn't I'm sure people would argue true I wore one because it had to do with my cosplay anyway okay um but yeah so what was the anyway, weird thing you saw? The weird thing I saw. Awful tangent. I'm sorry. I'm all no, over no, the place. No, no, no. I didn't even get to my story, so. <laughs> the weirdest thing I saw on the way was we, there was a Hatsune Miku car. It was plastered with pictures of Hatsune Miku. There was a Dude, Hatsune Ahigo? Miku popping out of the window. Like her, it looked like she was like pressed up against the window. Um, and they just had Hatsune Miku everywhere. I That's the weirdest dedicated. thing you've seen? Well, I was, it's more, I don't see a lot of weird shit, to be honest. I have That's two fair. weird things, though. Um, that was one of them. That was crazy. I just me. saw a small homeless camp, and that was one of the weirdest things I've seen, because they were doing some funky shit there. Oh. I, I thought I was going to get stabbed. Oh, no. Yeah. Um... Similar to that, whenever I would go visit Liam, like on the rare, on the like couple times that I would visit uh, Liam, there was a certain train that I had to get on or subway. Fuck. The same guy every time would come up to me asking for change to buy subway. Like multiple locations, same guy. He's just riding this train over and over again, asking people for subway money. Hoping for free subway. Yeah. Subway is in like the sandwiches, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not that uh, if you there. ever want to find out if he actually means it, buy him a sandwich instead of giving him money. And if yeah. he throws it in your face, uh, you don't have to give him money ever. I never had money on me, so it's not like I could fund his subway uh, addiction. <laughs> <it's>... <laughs> yeah. Addiction. He needs food. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if you were going to call me out on that. Babe, are you addicted to food? That's embarrassing. Oh, I'm so addicted to food. It's not funny. <laughs> yeah, I, I joke. But I'm addicted to Subway. <laughs> I love Subway. I could eat Subway for every meal. I've not sponsored. What have <laughs> you, I been addicted to? You get been addicted fat. To, this, to a wings place in our town called Wings Up. It's really good. Oh, you like Wings Up? Yeah, you don't like Wings Up? Wings Up fucking sucked. We ordered... No, really? We ordered a bunch of boneless wings and then a what's the what's the sandwich where it's like chicken and oh chicken parmesan, <laughs> a chicken and parmesan you know. <laughs> uh, we ordered a chicken parmesan and boneless wings. Uh, it was like shitty little nuggets and some spaghetti sauce on a slap of dry chicken. It was fucking disgusting and it was like sixty dollars. I was livid. That's so disappointing. And they had just opened. 
and they had just opened. So like, it's diff It's totally different if a place opens up and their food is good, but over time they get cheap and buy like shitty substitutes. No, they had just opened and it was like fucking craft dinner they sent us for sixty dollars. I was, <laughs> I vowed to never fucking eat there again. <laughs> they sent you K. So they disappointing. They sent you KD in the box. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I've had nothing but great experiences there. Their wings, like their. I guess bone-in wings? Like, what do you call them? Just wings? Yeah, yeah. just wings. Bone you, you can say bone-in wings. Um, they were, they're were they so good. I get the honey garlic and <laughs> I get a side of matzo sticks. You are allowed to say bone-in wings. <laughs> I'm, say, I'm saying that is, like, that is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. What I know what called. you mean. I know what you mean. Thank you for the permission to speak, oh, my lord. Babes. <laughs> So yeah, like I'm not. I, you guys thankfully were talking and carrying through. Uh, every single time I start this dungeon, I don't know where to go. Uh, yeah, that was my problem. I was like wandering I, around, and I'm just like, mm, all these doors go nowhere, and they're all locked. What the fuck do I do? And I could never figure it out until I just was like, you know, it, you just gotta try literally everything. Um, what was the but, solution? You, know. you just had to jump off the platform, like into the yeah, water. Yeah, there was no, no, no. There was um, there was a uh, uh, a switch I had to jump onto that changed the okay. location of the stairs that led me to a spot I could finally uh, progress in. It got me a key, and that's why I'm here now. Uh, I'm sincerely surprised <laughs> we didn't just end the series here. I would have. <laughs> if you if you guys were making me play this game, this would have been the last episode. Well, yeah, well, yeah, if we were making you play a game. I feel like you wouldn't want to play a game if we were forcing you to play it. Uh, no, like I'm you guys can suggest games for me to play and I'll play them. I I have no problem playing games you guys want me to play. Like if you guys want to show me something. But what I'm saying is, I would I would agree up to this point, and then I would just go, okay, series over. <laughs> There's so much good left in this game. Too bad I'll never find it. <laughs> well, you'll see it, because I'm playing. You will, through Liam. Yeah, thankfully, now... Yeah, I've never seen the end of this game. So wow, I'm, really? finally, I'm finally going to experience that now. It's a good game. I like the ending to this game. I do, too. I know kind of what it, I know like one of the twists near the ending yeah I was really sad when um I made the decision Ew. to like take a break from recording because I was missing so much of this game like I got to experience it through like watching you guys play it but yeah I love this game oh oh, oh. <laughs> also I hate this little goblin He's a little That's insect. fucking disgusting. I like I like no, his... I see that <laughs> he's like a robo beetle I kind of like him he's kind of cute Yo. And I hate bugs. I like bugs, and that thing was disgusting. Okay, I think I should just be able to jump down there. To that? No, uh, there jump, to climb Jump to up. that there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just want to see if there's, like, anything back here, like a thing I can climb. Nope. All right, so we're probably going to get whatever's at, like, the top of here and then call it an episode, just because... Oh my god, has it been going that long already? Yeah, we're uh, we're around like 23 minutes. Oh, babes. Yeah. It felt like no wow. time at all. Time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, we I talked about so uh, we talked about <laughs> supernatural the animation. Uh, <laughs> we talked about the uh, AMVs. Fox <laughs> Fox Kids. We talked about Fox ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> Several times. <laughs> oh no. Uh Sorry. What? Also, Liam, you don't yeah. have to leave this in, but I'm sorry if I doxed you with saying no! you're from Toronto. I figured it'd be fine because you don't live there anymore. <laughs> no, yeah, I don't care. It's it's all of Toronto. I feel like it's hard to find someone. Yeah, it'd be really hard to pinpoint where you live. Also, it Google would be fruitless. Liam, Toronto. It would also be fruitless because I don't live there anymore. <laughs> Google Liam Toronto, and if you find his address, you get a prize. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Stop telling people to do things that that are bad. That was, that that might, of where that he might actually dox you. Yeah, <laughs> you're just like uh, actually like do no, all this like, research. But you're never gonna find how many Liams do you think live in fucking Toronto? I would say quite a few. Yes. 
That's that that was the joke six. was that you won't find Ooh. Oh my god. It's nipping at your ankles. Detective. Oh, don't find out. Ooh. <laughs> don't find out. <laughs> yeah. It was uh, just landed right in so his fucking belly. I always get confused thinking that this is an important chest I need. And I don't think I is do for bombs? now. No, I you know what? It might be the compass. Oh, you need a hook shot to get that. Yep. Is that what you get here? Is that a hook shot? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I can tell buddy. by the things on the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so uh this temple's just about like getting the water flow going. Uh, and then Most it like, temples. yeah, pretty much. So next time we're going to continue going through now that the water's let through and, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be very quick at this dungeon and it will be over very quickly. I mean, thankfully it's going a lot quicker than if I were playing. So, <laughs> oh, Jesus. I thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. Oh, Are these, this game's like likes. All right. We'll find out. We'll find out. Bye. Bye.